we do a bunch of different workshops, uh, teach people about impact play, like some one-on-one -on -one stuff. But also we have been developing a workshop on the decolonization of mm. And we also do one on positive parenting. Okay. Yeah, that's that's because you say you have a, a you have a toddler as well. I sure do. So we have we have the whole spectrum. We have a just turned one year old, a about to turn five year old, or about about to turn nineteen year old, and a twenty two year old who's about to get married. So we have like the full wow the full gambit of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's it's like one of those things where we would get a lot of questions from parents who are like you know, either looking to rekindle they flame since they've been, you know, parenting hard, or people who are concerned about raising their children in a in a way for them to be safe mm -hmm. and then also raising their children in a way that they won't, you know, get in their way as they grow up in in a world that's got a whole lot going on right now. Yeah. I mean what do you have like one tip that you could give, you know, worker parents in terms of positive parenting because I know that there are yeah. there's a lot of concern about how do you tell your kids what you do for a living you know how do you stop them from being bullied in school you know like all the shame and stigma that surrounds the adult industry I wish there was just one thing I could say but <laughs> it, there's there's a couple I think first and foremost and this goes for any parent there is no birds in the bees talk there's no one talk it's mm -hmm. a constant conversation that you have to have with your mm -hmm. kids because how you talk to your toddler is not going to be how you talk to your 20 year old. Mm -hmm. So keep that open conversation and always keep your mind open, you know, and don't force how you feel about something on your kids. Yeah. As for my fellow sex workers, I think everything age appropriate, mm -hmm. you know, so like my four year old, he knows that daddy's going to be on a podcast and daddy daddy works in movies mm -hmm. you know and, and as, as an artist you know I, I keep it like that and mm -hmm. all of us know how whether talkative or inquisitive our kids are so we might have to give a little bit of a different answer but we don't have to give the well i do all yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. because the kid don't understand at that age right uh for kids who are older you know like our older kids we got them all blocked on all forms of social media <laughs> you know they have us blocked on all forms of social media but we do tell them still age appropriately because you know like our 22 year old is at the age where you know they gonna jump on and look whatever she looking for mm -hmm. on the internet mm -hmm. and you might come across us so mm -hmm. we have to say like you know i will stay away from this site you know i will stay away from this site mm -hmm. we're not on this site mm -hmm. you know like something like that um and then when she did deal with, she did actually deal with some bullying in high school. And she's a G though, because she she knew, like for one, when kids would say something, she would say something to the effect of like, you're not old enough to be on that site. Why would you know that? Mm -hmm. And if and but the weirder thing was parents who tried to have conversations with her. Oh, that's and she handled that smooth as well because she was just like, uh, "That's not a conversation I should have with an adult." If you would like, I can call my parents for you right now. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but not all of our kids are going to react, you know, as as calmly as she did. So I would say, still age appropriate conversation, but let them know that what mommy or daddy does is consensual, is safe, and not harmful. Mm -hmm. And that you love your child and you work how you work. And this is how we survive. This is how they get to enjoy, you know, whatever fruits of your labor are are, are given to them. But it's tough because right now things are changing a lot. You know, um, depending on what state you live in, you know, like Louisiana just passed that law uh, about kind of like they're collecting people's IDs who even go to adult sites. So I don't know what backlash also comes to sex workers based yeah. on the laws that they're setting up in certain states. So I would try to make sure that your child also knows not to go into detail about what they know about mm -hmm. your work with other people, just because that can be misconstrued in a whole lot of ways as well. Yeah. So, I mean, speaking from my own personal experience, my parents weren't in themselves, but they did, you know, direct it. And, um, 
when I was young, they just say, you know, mommy and daddy make movies for grownups. That yep. was the extent of my understanding. And I was like, okay, you know, for grownups, that's, I'm not a grown up. And then as I got older, I don't like remember them specifically, you know, sitting me down and telling me, but it was just something I think they were just not ever dishonest about. And I just kind of knew about it. And also like they didn't make it a big deal. Right. Yeah. Because we, we, we mirror our parents. So if our parents like make it this big secret that we, they hide from you and then, you know, like then it is a big deal. But I, I feel like my mom was always like, body's beautiful and natural and like nothing to be ashamed of. So I never felt that it was. And like, you know, I, I mean, my parents were swingers. They used to go to, my mom didn't do modeling. She shot herself for Hustler and for Playboy. And like, I've seen all of those pictures, you know, <laughs> I found like a picture recently I, when I was going through my father's, my, all my parents' pictures when he died, I found a picture of my dad and an, <laughs> and I like, I just, it doesn't bother me at all. Like it just like, and my siblings too, like we just laugh about it. We're like, oh, that's mom and dad. So yeah. I they don't live, know. They lived their life. You yeah. Know, I think. This is something I tell people too. No matter what your job is, up to about a certain age, your kids could care less. But yes. They really don't give a f- no don't matter care. what you do. Yeah. You uh <laughs> even if you're the president of the United States, I'm sure at a certain point your kid is just like, ah, oh, you're always in my way <laughs> <laughs> making yeah. laws and f-. but I, I think it's it's mostly like the, your kids are are concerned about are they getting their toys, are they mm-hmm. getting their food, are they safe? Do you love them? Yeah. You know, and and not particularly in that order. They probably care if you love them first. But, yeah. you know, all, all of that, that's what matters to them. Mm-hmm. And I, I totally agree with how your parents rock with it. It's not something that needs to be a secret, but it's also like your kids are only going to ask those questions to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. You know, like especially like our, our oldest two, our second oldest daughter. She used to just love like, oh, can I put something on your Amazon list? Because I would just get all these packages from fans from Amazon. Mm-hmm. So it was like, why are you getting all these packages? Oh, because my fans will buy it off my list. Mm-hmm. Can you put these lights? That she like wanted to put the lights around her room. Mm-hmm. Can you put these lights on your list? Yeah, yeah sure. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. I'll just buy it. Yeah. <laughs> but like, other than that, she don't never, ever, ever want to know. Yeah. Any other work. But it was just like, how can this benefit me? That's yeah, what I want right. to know. You know, so I, I think like on that kind of extent, like the, we don't have to try to have like this whole kind of conversation. And also if you feel what you're doing is right, if what you're feeling is and, and what we do is for adults, you don't really have to have a whole kind of breakdown with mm-hmm. your kids about it. The point where I usually get in the conversations about with with our parenting talks is parents who are trying to make sure their kids don't get fine on like their their devices or Mm -hmm. you know some of these games that you play you know you click one thing and it takes you to a whole nother place like Mm -hmm. how can they avoid those kind of things hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my patreon i offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support from live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus q a's behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots plus cool merch like stickers mugs and hoodies we have you covered so go to patreon.com slash holly randall unfiltered and while you're at it make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates